A financial plan is critical to success when you're looking to start investing. We like to say that failing to plan is planning to fail. So what do you need to make the right plan for you? Hi there, I'm Kelly Keene, author and personal finance educator. Let's look at some considerations for anyone who's in the process of developing a financial plan. A financial plan is different from, say, just an investment plan and looks at a broader scope of your financial life, which can include investing, but also paying down debt, your tax situation now and at retirement, estate planning issues, and so much more. Wondering what a financial plan can do for you? Creating a plan helps you to map out your financial future. It can help you achieve both your small and large financial goals and within the time frame you've planned for. It will help you organize your finances and balance your budget. Bottom line, having a plan will help you worry less about money because you will have a strategy along with a map of what you need to do to reach your goals. So what's the first step? You'll need to consider these five questions. What are you saving for? You might have one simple goal like paying down your credit card in the next year. Or it could be a little more complex, like saving for a down payment for a new home in the next few years while also starting your retirement savings. The next thing you will need to consider is how much you'll need. What's the dollar figure that you'll attach to each of those goals you just identified? Also, consider inflation and economic trends. What it costs now may not be what it costs when you are ready to buy it. The third consideration involves time. When will you need what you're saving up for? When would you like to be debt free or make that purchase? That's going to determine how much you need to set aside. Is it short or long term savings, for example? Fourth is how much risk can you handle? As you plan to achieve your goals, you may need to make some investments for the long term, like your retirement, for example. It will take some risk to get there and for you to achieve your goals. Because for many investors, the low interest rate of buying a GIC at a bank, for instance, just isn't enough to reach that type of long-term goal. It's essential that you know your risk tolerance and use it to guide your planning. We'll talk more about this in a moment. And lastly, it's important to know what level of knowledge you have. Can you create your own plan or do you need professional help and guidance? Once you've answered these questions, you're almost ready to put your plan in action. One last thing, you can't know how much you can save until you know how much you spend. Track your expenses for a few months to see if there are areas where you can cut back and save more. The ASC has an online budgeting tool to help you get started. Now you can get started on your plan. We talked about your goals and how you may have a number of them that you want to achieve. You need to decide which to act on first and the steps to take to achieve it. Then you need to review your progress continuously. Financial planning isn't an event. It's like with your health. It's a process. What you appreciate appreciates. Check in with your progress against your goals. Review your account statements. If you're off track, find out why and then get back on track. This might require the help of a professional. A major upset in the markets could mean your progress toward a goal stalls. Similarly, getting married, having a baby, or getting a divorce can change your goals. Check in and adjust your plan accordingly to stay on track. When you're setting your financial plan into action and ready to invest, knowing your risk tolerance is critical. Risk is often overlooked as people focus on potential gains instead of potential losses from an investment. But every investment has the potential for loss and you need to know your own comfort level with that risk before you invest. That's what's called risk tolerance. Consider the following to better understand how much risk is acceptable to you. What is your personality type in life? Do you normally enjoy taking risks or do you avoid them? How much of your investment are you comfortable losing if the value declines? Can you afford to lose your entire investment? And how might that affect your financial plan? What stage of life are you in? And are you just starting your career or are you closer to retirement? A longer time horizon might mean that you can take on more risk because you're better positioned to weather market volatility. But that's only if you're comfortable with the ups and downs the investment may go through. 
Mantra number one in investing is know thyself. To help you better understand risk and your personal risk tolerance, the ASC has some helpful tools and resources on checkfirst.ca. At the end of the day, if you know your risk tolerance, create a plan and check in and update it, you will move forward toward reaching your financial goals. Knowledge is power. Before investing, checkfirst.ca.